twinkle eyes and flashing across the sky. Like a swift as arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of failure. keep interrupting me, I'll never finish my work. Is there something wrong, Champ? Looks like it could be important. Ellie. We haven't even reached town yet. Be right there! I'm sure glad you came along, sir. He's right over there. Rebel, is it? I expect he won't mind a southern accent, then. Some misguided northern folks would call me Rebel, too. Can you tell what's wrong? Looks like your dog came out second best with a porcupine, son. There's a parcel of broken quills in his nose. That poor little old thing. It must be dreadfully painful. I reckon it don't feel good. Golly, can you fix him up? Now, I wouldn't be much of a doctor if I couldn't. You live close, son? Just back a ways at the North Ranch. I'm Ricky North. You lead the way. We'll put him in the buck boat. How about that, Ellie? What's that, James? Our first day in Yankee territory, we're going to the North Ranch. You gonna be all right now, Doctor? There'll be a little soreness for a few days. Then it'll be fine. Gosh, I sure don't know how to thank you. Sure was lucky for me you came along. You being a doctor and all. As a rule, my husband usually works on humans. <laughs> this is my Uncle Sandy. My pleasure, sir. I'm James Powell, the new doctor. This is my wife, Ellie. Well, it's a pleasure to know you both. We've been looking forward to your arrival. Welcome to town. Rebel got in a fight with a porcupine. The doctor brought him over and fixed him up. 
Well, then I guess I owe you something. Forget it. No charge for four-legged animals. Won't you stay to dinner? We'd like to have you. Thanks for the invitation, but Ellie and I'd kind of like to get to town and unpack our things. It's been a long trip. Well, of course. I'll ride along and give you a hand. Would you like to come along, Ricky? What? No, I better not. Rebel might need some looking after. Oh. Here, dab this on every hour or so, then bring him in to see me tomorrow. I will, Doctor. And thanks. Thanks a lot. What about you, Rebel? Can't you thank the doctor? <laughs> oh. My wife is a little worried about how we'd be received in Yankee territory. Well, the war's been over a long time, Doctor. I think that's all in the past now. Must be the new doc. Yep, I reckon so. Oh, I couldn't be happier if it were Casper. Well, I can tell you one thing. Old Doc Sanford certainly made this the nearest thing to a hospital that we have around. He was well loved and respected, Sandy. I hope I'll be able to take his place with you and your friends here in town. I wouldn't count on it, Rebel. Is something rankling you, Emmett? Might be. Well, this Never mind the introductions, Noah. We know who he is and what he is. Meaning what, mister? Meaning that you're the son of General Nathan Powell, old Powderhead. Look, Emmett, the war is over. General Powell was a soldier and a brave one. He had a job to do. He sure did it. My regiment fought against him at Fredericksburg, and I lost a lot of my best friends there. Don't you think he did? Didn't reckon he had any friends. <gasps> James, please. Let him go, little lady. My pleasure. Watch your tongue, Emmett. You may be needing the doctor's services yourself. Are you taking his side? Like I said, the war is over. Maybe it ain't. Maybe it's starting right here and now. Folks in these parts don't want no Dixie Doc taking care of them. You're speaking for yourself, not the town. Who's going to argue with me? Well, I am if you're set to argue. I'm plenty set. <laughs> I generally have someone fight my battles for me, Sandy. She sure did a nice job. Well, I figured I owed you something for the job you did on Ricky's dog. You better keep that dog of yours a hurting, because he's the only patient that southern friend of yours is ever going to have. James, maybe we better go on back home. Hush up that talk, Ellie. We're not leaving. Don't pay any attention, Emmett Kane, Mrs. Powell. All folks in this town expect us for your husband to be a good doctor. I know he's best. All right, then let's get you set up in housekeeping. so don't be too long. Yes, sir. Hi, Mrs. Powell. Well, looky here. Bringing the patient to the doc, huh? Sure am. Reckon the doc charges too much for kennel calls, huh? What are you talking about? Always did figure this town could use a good veterinarian. Doc Powell's just the man we need. You've got no call to talk like that. He's a good doctor. Oh, sure he is. 
for dogs. Yeah. <laughs> we'll round up all the sick four-legged critters we can find and send them over. <laughs> Gee, Mrs. Powell, how come they said that? I'm afraid that would take a lot of explaining, Ricky. Maybe we ought to just try and forget it, huh? Well, how's my patient today? He seems fine, Doctor. But I thought while Uncle Sandy and I were picking up supplies, you could kind of check him over. Sure thing. You're going back and help your uncle. It won't take long. Okay, Doctor. You be a good dog now, Rebel. Get him inside. Hold it. He's one of the Douglas gang. Belongs in jail. Man badly wounded, Emmett. This man will die unless he's treated immediately. Oh, I reckon that'll just save us the cost of a trial. I'm a doctor, mister, not a judge. Guess you know he's your responsibility. If he gets away, there'll be Hob to pay. He won't be going anywhere, Sheriff. Sure. This gang is nothing but a bunch of southern backsliders. That Dixie Doc is just trying to protect his own kind, that's all. He's only doing his job. That sedative will keep him out for quite a while. Is he going to live, Doctor? It's out of my hands now. That bullet didn't miss his heart by much. I'd say the chance is about 50-50. But, James, do, do we have to keep him here? If he's moved, it might be fatal. I can't risk it. But those folks outside, you heard. Yes, I heard. It's no concern of mine what they think. I've got a job to do. You understand, don't you, Ellie? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I took an oath, Sandy. I can't go back on that just because this man's an outlaw. You don't have to explain to me, Doctor. I'd have to help any injured man. I wouldn't worry too much about those folks outside, Mrs. Powell. They're just thinking about an outlaw being loose like this. He's no condition to harm anyone. I know. And when he's recovered enough, he can be removed to jail. That's up to the law. As long as his condition warrants it, he's my patient. He'll stay right here. <laughs> Done got the money, Matt. Going back into town, plumb crazy. Fix my brother. So is your brother. What about it? You going with me, or do I go alone? Yeah, I'll go. But there's something else, Matt. Yeah? Maybe he ain't alive. The way he got shot, we can't be sure. It don't make no difference, Cole. One way or another, we're bringing him back.
That was a fine meal, Ellie. Even in this country, there's nothing quite like Southern cooking. Maybe I should try some of it on those Yankee Towns books around here. Like that Mr. Kane. He's liable to like us too much then. Oh. Stand easy, folks. Nobody will get hurt. What is this? Where's my... Don't touch him. He can't be moved. He's critically wounded. I refuse to let you take him. You ain't in no position to refuse me anything, Doc. Think it's me, Matt. Easy, kid. It's gonna be all right. Me and Cole's come to take you with us. He'll die if he's moved. What do you think, kid? Can you make it? Yeah, I think so. The doc's taking pretty good care of me. Yeah, only tell you well enough for the rope. You're his brother. I can understand how you feel. But I'm speaking to you as a doctor, not a lawman. He can't be moved. He's gonna be. James, let him go. I'm sorry, Doc. I'd rather have it this way. Matt, Matt's right about that rope waiting. Put him in that closet. You see now who is wrong. Dudley should have been put behind bars. Dr. Powell had a man's life in his hands. Emmett's right. If it wasn't for this Dixie Sawbones, we'd have one of the Douglas gang anyway. He'd have done the same for any wounded man. It's only your opinion, North. I say he's the one who's still fighting a war. One of her own kind of got hurt, things have been a lot different. Let's not stand here all day and talk about it. The sheriff's outside now organizing a posse to go round up the Douglas gang. Let's go join him. Well, I'm ready. We ought to be able to track him. Well, we can try. It's no use. They just never leave you alone now. I did what I had to do. It'll be different when we get back home, honey. This will all be behind us. We're not going back. I have to, Ellie. We decided to make that in our home. If we want to stay here, I have to help protect it. Sandy, you and Kane take the East Stage Trail. Fred and I will cover the canyon area. I've got the other roads posted. I'll ride with you, Sandy. Dr. Powell, what in the world are you doing with that gun on? You're organizing a posse. I'm part of it. Who are you trying to impress? It's outlaws we're after, not hospital patients. Oh, this is our job, Doctor. You're wrong, Sheriff. I'm a citizen of this town. I did my job as a doctor, and I'll do my job as a citizen. Maybe he just wants to be sure his southern friends get medical attention when we shoot him full of holes. Huh, Doc? Figure it any way you want, mister. Ready to get started? Sure, Doc. One of the boys will lend you a horse. Take Bill's over here. Don't worry, Mrs. Powell. I'm telling you, Matt, we're going to have a posse on our necks. How about it, kid? Think you can make it? No, Matt. I'm sorry, but I couldn't write any more if my life depended on it. Maybe you think it don't. Shut up. We're staying till Dick can ride. Maybe you're staying, but not me. I'm taking my cut and getting out of here. Settle down, Cole. You're not going anywhere. If a posse does show up, I'll be needing all the help I can get.
of that shack. Looks like we found them, Rebel. You better head back to town. I'm still riding with you, Yankee. This time we're both on the same side. I'll be back for you. said about you? Like I said, I'm a doctor. champ. <laughs> you all right, Emmett? Guess I'll live, thanks to the doc here. Reckon I got a lot of apologizing to do. Just get well so you can pay your bill. It'd be a pleasure, doc. So you finally found out the war is over, you old diehard. <laughs> Well, that's about the best dinner I've ever had. Oh, well, thank you, Sandy. I've always said Ellie's Southern cooking is better medicine than any I could ever use. You guys, biscuits are about the best I ever tasted. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Rebel would like to try some, too, Ricky. Well, get down, Rebel. Too bad your horse isn't here, Ricky. Seems like he's the only one who's missing out. Champ! <laughs> he must have smelled the food a mile away. Here you are, boy. Real southern cooking. You know, Ellie, I do believe that horse winnies with a southern draw. <laughs> Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him. 